Hello. I was thinking, oh, I'll do one of them ones where you don't talk and it's all atmospheric and ASMR -y and that, but I realised that I've got, <laughs> I've got some cooking to do that might go terribly wrong. And if it's all <laughs> arty and like slowed down and ASMR and then I completely ruin the dinner, <laughs> it's going to look whack, isn't it? So I thought, if I just talk, if I ruin it and it all goes wrong, it goes wrong together. We're all in on it together. Because I'm going to try and cook a crispy belly pork on the open fire, but it's fraught with danger. I've got tent knocked up. I've just been uh, knocking up some tent pegs. I'll quickly show you how to do it. For those that don't know, you can just do it with a knife. I'll do it in real time. This is how quick it is. You just in with that. And then you're creating a cross in the top of the your potential peg. And then that material underneath and at the side of the cross can come out. And it all just comes out pretty pretty easy if you've gone deep enough. You can do it with a saw if you want, but you might just have a knife on you, so it's a quick and easy way to do it and then so you're left with that there which the rope your guy line goes under there and it can't get out and now I mean you don't have to do this but you can chamfer the top off you know if it's really hard ground that you're going into chamfer the top off and that prevents it from splitting when you hit it in and then just use like a chest lever and just take off the material at the bottom tuck away your little doohickeys in case you slice one off likewise with fingers now you don't want a sharp point because that's just going to snap so something like that is fine so that's not taking me long at all. Here's some I made earlier. I'm gonna just whack these in the tent because this ground is very loose. So the tent, the metal tent pegs slide out of there, but the wooden pegs hold firm because you can make them as thick or as long as you need for the ground that you're using or that you're going into. Hello, what's your name? Wood, wood face, what's your name? Peg E. Mitchell. <laughs> want to go to the cinema? What do you want to see? Toy Story 3. Why? Because I fancy Woody. Come on. <laughs> no. And there you go. You can see under there, that top point is where your guy line sits under. And that's not going anywhere. I've got my grill. This is what I use. Top tip. It's just a uh, cake cooling rack so nice and thin flat sits down the back of your pack just nice great for cooking on four sticks that i'll put in the ground and that'll be the corners of the grill and then just adjust it so that they're all sitting on it and that's pretty good do it skin first crisp it up and then cook it a bit slower garlic in there so I'm going to just add a little bit of oil to both sides a little bit to the skin side just to help it crisp up and then when I add my salt it'll stick to it You might have seen me uh, use 
a mini pump to do my airbed up and my long distance hikes and stuff. They've come out with this new one. They, they sent me a prototype, but it didn't come with a charger and it was a bit of an awkward thing to charge. So I was like, I wasn't getting on with it. So I told them, I was like, I'm not, I'm not into it because it doesn't have a, a charger. So I waited until they gave me the real thing that does have a, a rechargeable battery in there that you can just plug into a USB. And I've been using it and uh, it's unbelievable. It's so lightweight. So if you're a gram shaver, it comes with loads of these attachment points. So you can just pop it over there and then that goes over whatever air bed you've got. You put it on that end and it can deflate things. You put it on that end and it blows it up. I've got the old Therma Rest. I've had this for maybe, I don't know, maybe six or seven years. It's still going strong. Over there, that's it. And it's a lot quieter than the other one as well. You just plug it in, leave it doing its thing. While you tend to other things more important than blowing into an airbed. They've been kind enough to give me a discount code if you want to use it. I think it's 15% off. Don't quote me on it though, but you can have a look. It'll be, I'll leave the, um, in fact, I'll put it there because I'll check. That's that's the discount. That looks oh, done. Airbed blown up. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> that's the discount code. I'll leave a link below, and uh, I rate it. I absolutely love it, in fact. And that's going to be coming with me this spring and summer on my multi-day hikes. Oh my God, these toggles are really good. Toggles can make or break a tent for me. The Lanshan Two just has tight. Elastic toggles at the brilliant. The tent is my trusty Lanshan 2. I've put some miles in this thing and I love it. It's one of my favorite tents. I've just used sticks. I didn't bother bringing me hiking poles. I've just used a couple of sticks either side. Sleep system is just my Rabasent 900, my Xtherm Neo Air and the Rapid SL Pillow from Big Agnes. It's a lovely feel to it. And I'm, uh, I'm just trying out new pillows after the Trekology one let me down again. Zipper up so no creatures of the night get in. So to go with the belly pork, I'm going to make a homemade applesauce. And to do that, it's just a one pan thing. I'm just going to whittle. <laughs> I'm just going to whittle these. Not enough room on the little tiny chopping board. I was going to use three, but they're not that big, so I'm going to use four. They're going to break down to next to now anyway. Yorkshire butter, mate. Yorkshire butter. Couple of things of caster sugar for sweetness. Star and East, just one. Look at that. Crispy. I'll let that chill out for a bit while we do the apple sauce. I'll get this fire stoked up. Like some little twigs, I think. I'll take the garlic off. That's that's been on there for ages. Now that'll be nice and soft. I've got a new telescopic camp bellows. Look at that. Super long. Nice little bit of leather detail on there. Fern got me it for Christmas. Thanks, Fern. Here it is in in all its glory because we've got a smoky fire that's not going. The bellows go in. There you go. Don't leave home without it. Just gonna chuck a little bit of sage in there at the end. Yeah. Look at that. Peel it all off. Smush this onto there. <laughs> All caramelised and gooey. Oh, it's cooked a treat. Apple sauce. I love making videos and stuff, but the worst bit, and it happens often, is trying to eat on camera while the smoke blasted in my face when I just want to enjoy it. Oh. Mm. 
Mmm. Oh, what? No way. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, so good, garlicky, the crackling is crackly, <laughs> and the apple sauce, real simple, just apples, butter, a bit of caster sugar, a star anise, and then end it with a bit of sage. Oh, ridiculous. I won't be able to eat all that, I'll have some tomorrow. Stop it. What's that? Bug? Want some pork? Um, oh, right, I'm gonna enjoy my tea in front of the fire. I pissed it down last night. The birds are singing and the rain is falling. Oh, packing up a wet tent. It's not the one, is it? So it was steady away and then um, at one point it was just like real heavy. Woke me up with rain. I was just chilling around fire and it wasn't forecast. And then it started pissing it down. I was like, oh no. Grabbed everything, chucked it in here, got in bed early doors and then just i fell to sleep i just tapped out even though it was only early just a little bit of condensation but that's fine can't really see much a lot of low-lying mist it's quite atmospheric let's get up this camera's not waterproof either you can't really see me that good because it's still quite dark just one of them where because it's been raining so much, everything like, and everything's soaking, all the pine needles stick to you, mud gets everywhere, clarted. Right, do one of these. There we are. No trace left. And it was good to be out in tent tonight, mate, because as I said, oh, I don't know if I did say or oh, whether I recorded it or not, but <laughs> or I just thought it. But... <laughs> I've been up north doing my van up and when I'm doing that I'm sleeping in the van as well as doing it up so I'm often surrounded by half done things and you know before the heater was done it was freezing and I can't really go camping because when you go camping and if you, all your shit gets wet and muddy and stuff I've got nowhere to, to dry it out, I've got nowhere to clean my pots and pans and it becomes just a bit of a chew, it's a bit too much. But I got so much done on my van build this time. Check the back library if you wanna see the van build. Got so much done, and I'm off back down south later on today, so I just thought, why not? Get everything wet, get everything mucky, get out in woods, stink of smoke. <laughs> Yay! I love it, I love it. I might come back and sign off whilst I'm going for a swim, but if not, I'll love you and leave you now. Uh, so there's not been a lot of chatting and waffling on this one because I was just happy doing what I was doing, cooking and chilling in the woods. And I feel great today. I feel great for it. It's just really calming and relaxing. And uh, just the sound of the rain on the tent, it's just wonderful. That's the sort of stuff, I'll put that on a podcast or a, a YouTube video like, rain on tent videos ASMR to help me fall to sleep so to get it in real life it's just a dream look after this ends and bye for now <laughs>
There's a chainsaw going off over there somewhere. But ignore that, just imagine the birds are singing, the sun's shining and it's nice and warm. Which it's not. But I like to end, as regular viewers will know, I like to end on a bit of a dip. Woo! It's slippy. That's a fact. I'm sliding. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! It dropped! <laughs> it dropped right off! Help me! Ah! 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 It's all going wrong! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! <laughs> it's oh stuck! <my> oh, <laughs> oh my god! Help me! I can't get out! I've got a level with you! I went camping and the day after was Valentine's Day so I had to quickly come and meet Fern and Nimbus and then oh no oh he's chucking all my shit everywhere I was like oh yeah you guys just carry on on your walk I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for a little dip and end my video and I've gone and started sliding there was nothing I can do and then just I mean you saw it didn't you uh, and that's that, so that's that. If you want to be in with a chance at coming on one of these adventures with me and Joey D and winning a full ultralight camping kit, I'll leave a link for that below. But for now, <laughs> I'll love you and leave you. Take care of yourselves. I don't want to touch the camera, I'm covered in shit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Look, I can't even look at the state of it. <sighs> Everything's blathered in shit. So say bye to the dog. Oh, it's all of it. <sighs> say bye to This is a terrible ending. Bye, dog. I think that went really well, babe. <laughs> <laughs> really well, did it? So. All right, love you all. See ya. <laughs>